In this video, I show you how to clear your iPhone cache. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's jump straight into this guide. Here we are on my iPhone and let's get right into clearing the cache. And I've got many different methods I'm going to show you. The first thing we need to do is navigate to our iPhone storage settings. So to get there, all you need to do is open up your settings, scroll down a bit and go and tap on general. Then from to the general page, you need to go and tap on iPhone storage, just like so. And it's going to go and calculate what is sort of taking everything up. Now, as you can see, system data in, in the right hand side at the top does take up quite a lot. And that is part of the sort of cache data, but also other apps are going to use sort of cache data as well. So I'm going to show you how to clear all of it. So if you go to the bottom of this page as well, and then we can go and see system data is right at the bottom of this page. So go and tap on that. This does include caches or cache as well. Um, so I'll be showing you how to clear that as well. So if you go and open an app from this list, for example, Google Maps, as you can see here, documents and data, which is sort of the cached information takes up 360 megabytes. So in this case, for apps like Google Maps, it's worth deleting it and then re-downloading it again, because that's going to delete the documents and data. Of course, make sure you don't actually want the documents and data. For example, Google Maps, I haven't got really anything saved. I don't need any downloaded maps or anything. So if I go and delete that and reinstall it, it's going to go and save me those 350 megabytes. Of course, there may be some apps, for example, an app like CapCut, which is a video editor. The documents and data is essentially my um, projects and videos I've edited in that, which I don't want to delete. But some apps I could do that for. And a feature that you may not have known about is that some apps have their own sort of cache or cache. So if we go into Snapchat, for example, as you can see, the documents and data is 186 megabytes. So go and open up Snapchat just like so. And as I said before, this applies to pretty much all apps as well. Then you want to go and go to your app settings. So for Snapchat, you need to go and tap on your profile just like so. And then you can go and tap on the gear icon in the top right to open up your settings. But it's all very similar. Then what you want to do is scroll down until you can go and see the option for clear cache or clear cache. As you can see under account actions, I can click that there and go and save 70 megabytes. And as you can see, nothing actually will be deleted. Um, it's just sort of restarting the whole app. And then we're going to go and save 70 megabytes just like so. And you can do the same in apps like TikTok as well. So here's another quick example. Here we are on TikTok. So you want to go to your profile, then the three bars in the top right, and you want to go to your settings and scroll down. And you're going to have the option for cache or cache and cellular. Then you click on free up space and I can go and clear my cache here. I've just done it, which is why it's zero. And one app which will take up a lot of your system data is actually Safari. So if we go back out of here, you want to go and clear Safari browsing data and your search history and things like that. So go and tap on Safari, just like so, then scroll down. And then down here, we can go and clear the history and the website data. And that should free up quite a lot. And then now the last way, if you really want to go and delete all the information in, in the setting for uh, system data, then to ultimately to go and delete this, you need to go and reset your phone. So what I recommend doing is connecting your phone up to iCloud um, and or iTunes and then backing it all up. So your contacts, your pictures, and then come to general, come to the bottom and click on transfer or reset iPhone. And then you can go and tap on erase all content and settings. And that's going to delete everything, including your system data. And then you can redownload everything and your system data will be cleared off your phone. Unfortunately, just iPhone sort of pick caches and logs up over time. And they do need to be cleared by resetting your iPhone. If you guys found these methods useful, please go down below and Thanks for leaving a like. Peace.